We are back on Zimakuma MC Skyblock, and if you don't remember, we started on a one block Skyblock, technically. And this is what it has become. We've got our big farm, we've got our little farm, we've got our spawners. I haven't made many changes to it, actually, uh, since, well, this. This is the last change I made, was that big farm. I think I'm gonna do this one a little differently as well. I think I'm gonna start off by opening things, just to see what I have that I can mess with. Uh, for this video, but before I do that, I'll go ahead and at least chop up these crops as well Also, I have these I want to sell. Oh, yeah, I sold some of these didn't I? Already so first off I'm gonna start off actually I'll start off with keys. I feel like key well oh, dude I hate sorting my inventory. It's such a mess Let me just go ahead and keep doing keys until I'm empty. There we go And then I'll do salvage all again get rid of what I don't need nailed it We got all of our little spawners absolutely beautiful I got more things to open. Let's do, um, yeah, we'll do pet eggs and holy pet eggs and see what we get. And I'm gonna get salvage ready because I have a feeling that they're not gonna be that good. I'll just put these guys over here in case I wanna sell them or anything. I don't know if I will, but they're there. Let's open up these two epic airdrops and see what we get. Ooh, a lot of that's gonna get salvaged. And our two ultimate airdrops! We didn't get really anything too good from that. Maybe just a spawner and some gems. That's about it. And from this one, I have a feeling it's going to be the same thing. Yeah, gems, gems. Um, I mean, actually, the pet eggs are kind of nice. We got two holy and... Sh or sorry, six holy and two normal pet eggs. So we have a mana pet now. And we have a better book pet, which is actually kind of nice. I can't remember what I was putting the mana pet on. Or what I wanted to do the mana pet with. Maybe fishing? I think it was for fishing. Beacon cluster number one. What do we get? A bunch of keys, blaze spawners, five epic airdrops. Okay, then we'll open those before we finish off this. I'm gonna go and open up these five epic airdrops. And I'm just opening them all together because I can't be bothered. And I'll just salvage all. And it'll deal with all the stuff that I do not want. And our final V-Kit cluster. Bam! Keys, 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 money, and another V-Kit cluster. And spider spawners. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go and put down these Enderman spawners. I'm going to have a... I'm going to eventually have a bunch of them down here. One of the quests that I need to do... Well, obviously, I need to do... I just remembered I need to enchant my tool ten times. Which means I'm going to have to do a, a, a lot of a lot of grinding. I'm well above the level that I needed. Well above the level that I needed. Well, that's two more enchants down. I need a lot more. So this is going to suck because obviously a lot of these enchants are cheap. But they're going to get more and more expensive as I keep upgrading them. I mean, that's going to be expensive, right? That has to be expensive to throw on. Yeah. I figured. So this one was like 42 levels. Nice. 38. Oh, I'm just below it. Oh, man. All right. So now I should be able to throw on one level of Book Hunter. And I imagine that I shouldn't have even done that. Yeah, 39 levels and 43. Oh, man. Okay. Well, you're more expensive. So this is getting a little easier, but it's going to get harder once I finish off the easy enchants and then I need to go like to all the way to like 60 and 70 just to throw enchants on. I miss when my robots were overpowered and I had a bunch of them and I had way too many and I just had infinite experience in gems. That was good, but I get them nerfing it. I'm just thinking actually, if I burn some of the books that I don't care that much about, I could get some of the experience back. Like for one, I, I kind of like the idea of being able to get value tickets from grinding, but do I really care that much? No. I'm okay burning this one. Let me see what that's worth first. That's like 30 levels. It might be worth just actually keeping this and applying it. Let's do rebirth precision mining. I forgot I swapped my controls around to grind easier. Um, I'll just go and burn that because I gotta get precision mining to level 5 first. Which means it should burn for a lot of experience. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, no. I can get that. I mean, it's 53 levels. I think I just do it. But the question is... I, I mean, I only have one arche uh, archaeologist one. I also only have precision mining one. Let's go! Uh, okay, so we got two times gem pouches and an XP pouch, which is also absolutely beautiful. 23 levels is not a lot. Now, I should get a decent amount of gems from this because I did get archaeologist two on this now. So that's exciting. And yeah, you can see, like, I already mine very fast. I don't know if I need precision mining 
even to, I don't even think I need it rebirthed at all. It might be better if I get it maxed out. It might be like absolutely insane. I don't know. I definitely want to max it out at some point. So if I happen to get the experience, I'm 100% going to go ahead and grab that enchant. And actually, because of that, I might go ahead and use this pet just to get a little more experience. I mean, it's like 4% experience, but also get gems and skill boost or 23.60% experience, but only experience. Actually, I'm going to do both. I changed my mind again. So the good thing is this has a daily booster going on, so I'm going to make two times money and... I mean, what else, actually? I can't remember what else you make. I mean, two, two, two times skill experience, I think? No? Wow, really? Just gem boost, uh, sell value, and then um, value tickets. I kind of wish you got two times skill boost. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, I leveled up to gold. I was like, what's happening? Gold tier. Let's go. Uh, so now I'm going to be getting gold and obviously diamond as it uh, transfuses up which is absolutely beautiful. Um, which, in that case, I kind of want to go ahead and actually buy a gold pouch. I actually really like this because it just kind of revitalizes me at least a little bit. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the weird one on that. Let me know. Does it revi revitalize you a little bit? Like, make you just a little more energetic? Unlock Diamond Mine is tier 40. I get to get, or I guess level 40. I get to get to level 40 to unlock the Diamond Mines. Yeah, I'm going to be here for a while, but, like, we'll still get there. Oops. I don't want to fall into the water. No. My inventory is almost filled. A little sell all. That's 147,000. That is awesome. Obviously, that's double the money because of because because it's the daily booster, but like that's still insane. And we have a total of 4 mining fragments. I need 20 per piece of armor, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I want to quickly go ahead and uh, I want to I want to open up these books and see what we get and then we'll get back to mining for a little bit, but I have one final thing I want to do after that, which is going to be super exciting. These all kind of suck. I mean, transfuse is not bad. I might actually just throw that on my pickaxe. Wow, my experience is kind of flying up really fast when it's low level, and this is without the XP pad. This is with my uh, universal on. I've already made actually a lot of gems. I think I started this around 4 to 5, I'll say 5,000 gems. Spent a few uh, upgrading, uh, buying and upgrading this pouch, and I'm already up to 17,000 gems. That's actually pretty freaking sick. Actually, if I'm going to get one anyways, I might as well buy one. I don't necessarily need to upgrade it, because, like, 250... Actually, that's not a lot. Let's upgrade this one to 1,500, and I'm going to upgrade this one to, like, 750. I was, like, 7,000 gems used right there, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run, especially keeping my inventory clear. Well, you know what? I think I'm done mining for the, for today. Let's go ahead and warp enchanter. Let's mess with our robots a little bit. See uh, what I can do. Give me something good or something I can burn for experience. Fragment finder. Oh. Wait, is that applicable to everything? Oh my. So I only have 15,000 gems. That's um, it's not a lot of gems. Oh, my crops are grown. You know what that means? Time to chop them up. There you go, buddy. Get more stuff. Thanks. Okay. That's pretty nice. I've got some things that I need to place down. I was going to say things that I need to open. No, things I need to place down. Also, I'm just going to get the cows out of here. So the last thing I wanted to do, which I was debating on doing it this time, but it turns out um, I didn't have a lot done. So I'm going to go through all of this real fast because I had a lot of rewards there. By the way, guys, just in case you didn't follow what I did, this is the free pass of Akuma M. See all the information down in the description. It's completely free. All you have to do to get to this is get to a whopping level 11 and you get a free weekly cluster, which is a $20 item, or I guess it's technically valued at $40. Yeah, we got another one at $42. And there's also some on prisons. It's super awesome. I highly recommend putting in some time at least to get the first one to try it out and see what you think. Three, two, one. Let's place down this uh, cyclone cluster. Okay, we got money, unlimited sell one, value tickets, cloud keys, sell one again, tempest keys, and I already have that. The only one I didn't have was this one and vote V kit, and then of course Valentine's. I don't need this. Oh man, I don't need it. Is anyone selling one of these? Nailed it, guys. If that sells, I'll be rich. If it doesn't, I won't be. Please buy it and join the server. All the information is down in the description. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did and you haven't yet, make sure you leave a like on it. Subscribe so you don't miss a video here on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.